In this problem, we're going to calculate the mean, median, and mode of the number of goals that was scored in each game. So we have a list of numbers. Um, the first thing that we need to do before we start calculating anything is to write the numbers in ascending order, and ascending means the least to the greatest. So down here, I'm going to write uh, all my numbers in order, and I'm going to cross them out as I go so that I can remember which ones I've already used. All right, so I see a zero. That's definitely the smallest. And then I see we have a 1, so that'll go next. Um, I see 1, 2, 3 twos, so I'm going to write down 2 three times, and then I'm going to cross them out to make sure I know that I already used them. Um, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 threes. So now I'm going to cross those out. And then it looks like I have a four and a five. And I'm going to cross those out. So now I know that I've used all my numbers. Um, and if you want to be really sure that you used all of your numbers, you could count the original, count the amount of numbers in the original list, and then count the number of numbers in your list and make sure that they're the same. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is calculate the mean. To calculate the mean, you take all of your numbers, you add them up, and then you divide them by how many of them there are. So I'm going to take 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And then we're going to have the six threes. And then the 4 and the 5. And then I'm going to take whatever that comes out to be and divide it by the amount of numbers, which if you count the, all the numbers, there are 13 of them. So um, at this point, you could put it in your calculator. You could just put in um, all the numbers on the, in the numerator and press enter and then divide by 13. And when you do that, you come out with a decimal that is 2.615, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of numbers behind it. So let's just say it's 2.6. Now, one thing I want to caution you about when you put this in your calculator, um, if you want to do this all in one step, you can either put it in as a fraction, and that will be just fine. If you don't use the actual fraction function and you're just going to add all the numbers and then divide by 13, you have to make sure you put parentheses in front of, or put parentheses around um, the things in the numerator. Otherwise, um, your calculator will follow order of operations and you'll get the wrong answer. All right, next. We're going to find the median. The median is one of the easier things to find. Um, as long as our numbers are in order, which is extremely important, what we're going to do is um, we can just work our way in. Um, so I'm going to cross off the first and the last number, and then the second number, and then the second to last number, third number, third to last. And I'm just going to keep going until we come out with one in the middle. OK, so this is the one in the middle. That means the median of these numbers is 3. And then the mode is, I think, the easiest one um, to calculate because you're just looking for the one that happens the most often. And as we were writing out our numbers in a list, you probably noticed that 3 happened 6 times. That was more than any other number. So that means the mode of this set of numbers is also 3.